Serious. Prostitutes, escorts, strippers, and other kinds of intercourse workers, what was your first day on the job like? Terrifying. I was 21 years old and had never even stepped foot inside a strip club. I had bought a matching bra and underwear set for Marshalls along with regular heels. Big mistake. I was told to watch the dancer before me on stage, who of course was gorgeous and clearly knew what she was doing. I went up there and immediately busted my butt because of the normal-sized heels. The rest of the time was just spent holding on to the pole for dear life and hoping I wouldn't get fired for being the worst dancer they'd ever witnessed. I wasn't fired and eventually got the hang of everything, but I still cringe at how awful those first initial days were. I started as a waitress in a strip club. Three months later, I tried dancing. My first time in the VIP where I had been seeing the workflow for three months, so I knew what to say and where to go. But my hands were shaking. The guy even asked me if I was okay. After the first hour, it was fine, but my body literally was shaking in the beginning. I didn't feel scared, though. It was a natural reaction. Stripped briefly to pay for a semester's worth of tuition and books. On my first day, a lady shouted, Whip out your pecker! And I couldn't help but laugh from both nerves and the fact she said pecker. After that, the rest seemed pretty easy. You know, you always hear the stories about people going into stripping to put themselves through school, but I've heard it so much it felt like some cliché from stories, not real. I guess it's a cliché for a reason. I knew what it would be like going into it. I'd been working for the agency for a few months as a driver, taking the girls to their apartments, making sure they didn't get robbed or killed. My boss mentioned that he had some interest from females wanting a male escort. I'd seen Deuce Bigelow. I figured, why the hell not? I was 18 and I cleaned up pretty nice. My first client was a woman in her late 30s. Not a supermodel, but not unattractive at all. She was in town for some auto parts convention and wanted someone to show her around. We wound up sleeping together after. I got my money and left the next morning. I did that until I moved out of state three years later. I was a cam girl for a little bit. First time was with my roommate. She had been doing it and I knew she was a cam girl. She was making more in one night than I was from babysitting like four times a week. It was really awkward at first, but my roommate was a pro and played into it. First time lesbian sort of thing. Those tokens were flying in. Despite it being awkward, it was fun and we made a lot. So I started my own account and became a cam girl. Dang, enough to make you switch right then, huh? I don't know, folks, what do you say? Time for me to make my own cam account? Wait, where are you all going? Former male stripper here. It was awesome. It was comedic, naughty, and fun. Just an absolute party. The crowd had a blast. We quintuple lap danced the bachelorettes. It didn't pay much, but I wasn't really in it for the money. I would totally start another show if I could make it happen. I only had two brief uncomfortable moments that night. First, an old woman just grabbed my goodies. Second, another old woman shoved a dollar so far between my cheeks that I didn't see it until after the show. I'm 21 and was an oil wrestler for a short time just last year, and I was terrified. I had no practice or was shown anything. I made $10 in tips that night, but as I went on for the next three weeks, I began making more. The girls were really clicky and at times total bees. The men we entertained were disgusting low-hygiene cowboys and rude as frick. Not my scene, but nothing but respect for the women who are able to have fun in that environment. I did phone hanky-panky for a bit, and the first day was awkward. I felt like I was in a corny adult film from the 80s. There were also a surprisingly high number of men that asked which area I lived in and were weirdly insisting on knowing. I'm guessing because it was over the phone, it felt more real to them. After a couple of hours, I got into my role and moaning like a bad actress became easier and funnier, but the first hours definitely felt awkward. I remember growing up seeing those phone services, and I just never got the appeal. Maybe it's because I just hate talking on the phone. Like, if I'm talking on the phone, I'm almost always doing a chore or pacing anxiously, which might kill the mood. Escort in a brothel. Edit. Escort is a commonly used synonym for all the other words for full-service hanky-panky worker where I'm from, making a note as there has been some confusion. Honestly, my first day was a mixed bag. The other girl I worked with was hilarious and properly took me under her wing and fed me a glass of wine before my first john to settle my nerves. I haven't drank on the job since that day, but that one drink really helped. I got tipped by one customer, assaulted by another. When I was assaulted, though, the other worker, the receptionist, and my boss all had my back and gave him a proper telling off and barred him. 
This was a one-off, and it hasn't happened since. I've never felt safer in any other job, and I have more control. I walked home that day with more money than I'd earned in a week in my last job. I've never looked back. I used to live in Carson City, Nevada, where legal brothels like this exist, and while I never went there, just not my thing, plus I barely made enough money to afford food, I did know someone who used to work at one, and they said the same thing. It was an extremely self, well-regulated environment, and most of the women there liked their jobs. I'm long retired now, but I was 21 at the time and at a loose end. New city and no job, so decided to work at a gentleman's club as a prostitute. I'd done my research and been in for an interview, so I was feeling confident and relaxed. No one else showed up on time, so I was the only girl there on the day shift and sat chatting to the receptionists. My first client was a really good-looking English Sri Lankan guy who was really sweet and equally nervous. We both couldn't believe it was the other's first time until we were both fumbling and laughing trying to put a condom on correctly. I can't remember who else I saw that day, but I do remember getting paid more than I'd earned in a week working two jobs. I ended up working for around seven years and really enjoyed it. Was a stripper in my late teens. First day, I was nervous as frick. Some drunk dude walks up to the stage waving a dollar bill and said, Slap your butt, I'll give you a dollar. Oddly enough, that made me somehow more comfortable with the whole thing. I actually enjoyed it and wasn't half bad. Made more money legally from 17 to 20 than any other job I had until like two years ago. I'm 37 now. A bit intimidating, but not really much different. If anything, I had a little better of an idea of what I was doing compared to working at Starbucks. Order up, I've got an iced coffee and a lap dance for Brian. Is there a Brian here? Did escorting for about a year. First day was relieving. I was terrified at first because I was given the rundown for what redheads to look out for. There were a lot, but I went on. Most of my clients ended up being older men who just wanted a pretty girl to be seen with and to listen to them. My first day felt more like a therapist than an escort. Awkward, because I was bad at it. I don't really know if this counts, but I'll share anyway. I am not a hanky-panky worker, although I was paid in the somewhat recent past to work a glory hole. The glory hole was in the staff bathroom of a club not far from my student accommodation. I was told that certain guests were going to be given the option to use the staff bathroom for the glory hole, but not to expect that many people. I was paid 200 pounds each night, and I worked two weekends in a row. My first night, and pretty much every night, was very scary. My expectation was that a peepee would come through the hole, I blow it until he comes, and job done. I didn't expect that I was going to have abuse shouted at me, having people look over and under the cubicle and threatened. Every night I complained to the manager, and he promised to do something about it, but nothing ever really changed. Like I said, I only worked two weekends because it was really scary. Hope this was somewhat relevant. I was 18 and naive. My first client chose me because I was new, fresh meat. He was a regular at the club. I was terrified, but went along with it. He'd made me call him daddy, and every time he pushed into me, I winced from pain. He secretly took the condom off. The manager or girl who gave me an introduction tour never warned me of clients trying to take off condoms. I couldn't tell management about him since he was a regular at the club. They also never told me there was an emergency button to leave the room if I needed to. I only learned three years later when a client beat me. That's when I decided it was my last day. See, stuff like that is absolutely awful. I hope that regular got his dangle ripped off by a rabid dog. People like that make me absolutely sick, and I'm sorry for what you had to go through. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. First job in the industry was a naughty text operator for a dating website. I found out it was a scam. I was basically a bot and never got paid for talking to people, lol. They owe me at least $120. I hope their site is exposed one day. Edit. First day was weird. I had to cater to a bunch of random guys. There was no training, just thrown into random chats with random guys. I basically made up nonsense to keep the convo going so they could buy more credits to make the website rich while we get nothing. I was basically the person that was like, don't you like talking to me? Why won't you buy more credits then? Edit 2. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I remember feeling really weird the first day because as bots we had access to a bunch of random women's nudes. They looked like amateur adult stars or something, but I remember being like, who are these women? It just felt wrong. 
former exotic dancer of three years. The first night was intimidating in part because the other dancers are generally hostile toward new girls. That may have just been the case at that club, I'm not sure. But also because the job itself is so heavily stigmatized that you find yourself afraid that somebody you know will see you. That faded after a few weeks, though, and it was actually a really fun job. You should always be careful not to fall into the lifestyle, though. Keep work and personal lives separate. 6.9K. Dare I say, nice. Double edit. 6.9 was a 69 reference, hence the nice. Didn't mean to confuse anybody. Sorry. Dancer here. I remember being chill and excited about it. This was 20 years ago. The next few times were a little more nerve-wracking because what does an 18-year-old have to say to middle-aged men, you know? Took me a while to get comfortable. Now I'm a pro and can't wait till the clubs open again. This is what I love to hear. You're doing something you really enjoy. Good for you. Nerve-wracking. I was professional, but I was 21. It was just me and him, and he had to drive me to another location. But he was super nice and realized real quick I was nervous, so he talked to me the whole way there. He even made jokes while we were switching positions. Fun guy. I would have kept going in that line of work, but a friend caught chlamydia, so I was out. I was a dancer in my college years. I was so nervous, not because of the dancing, but because I was afraid I didn't look as good as the other girls slash they wouldn't like me. It turns out they were so sweet and so diverse. One of my coworkers had five young kids. One of them was a PhD candidate at one of the local universities. One of them loved to bake in her spare time. Sharing small details like that about our lives made us grow together. Most of the regulars that came in were your average guys, nothing weird or creepy. Eventually, when you got to know them enough, they would talk about things that stressed them out, like their debt or their job, or, my 13-year-old daughter is smoking, I don't know what to do. And you become more of a listener and advice giver instead of an intimate being. Gay mail here. I had a pretty bad drug problem and would get money to fund it by posting on Craigslist to exchange hanky-panky for money, or drugs in a few rare instances. My first day on the job, I had actually posted just to have a casual hookup for fun, but a guy that responded wasn't my type. But he offered me money to hook up, and I pretty much said okay because I was on drugs. I was really nervous that it was a cop, but he ended up being a really nice guy. I realized I could make it a hustle and ended up having hanky-panky pretty much once a day for money like three years straight. Most of the guys were really normal, nice guys. I had a few scary times where the house would be nasty and roach-infested or they'd refuse to pay me and we'd argue. It was all done through Craigslist and I'd never seen a face pic, just body or X-rated pics. I don't think I would have accepted the initial offer if I wasn't on drugs, but as my addiction got worse, I relied on prostitution more and more and basically became a professional hanky-panky worker. I'm since off drugs for a few years, and I used to look back on prostitution as shameful, but I have accepted and grown, and it's a part of my past. It's certainly nothing to feel ashamed about. There isn't anything wrong with intimate work, but I am sorry you had to do it through Craigslist, and I'm glad there wasn't anything worse than a few scares. First time I posed for a photographer, I was very nervous, but he didn't allow models to smoke or drink beforehand. When he asked me to jack off in front of him, it took a bit to get hard. First time I shot a video, I was also really nervous, but it was a solo and I just relaxed after listening to the director tell me how to move around. When the other model showed up, it was just a laugh for a bit until he went down on me and I was focusing on the model and not the guy with the camera watching us and telling us what to do. In my early 20s, I did some escorting gigolo work. I was afraid of what type of women would be willing to pay for intercourse, and my first client was exactly what I expected. Luckily, she didn't want me to do anything to her and just wanted to give me a blowjob while I fingered her butthole. She was amazing at it, by the way. My second client that day, however, wow, she was a legit 8 out of 10. She was a taller, 20-pound heavier version of Maria Menounis. You name it, she wanted to do it. She actually ended up being a repeat customer numerous times we would get together, and when all was said and done was my best and most frequent client. She was extremely wealthy and just loved the idea of paying a man other than her husband to do the things we were doing. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.